Hey there my friends, I'm Daniel, your host from the channel Awakening Self and today I want to discuss with you a really important topic that is actually stopping a lot of people from feeling the best they could and being able to let go of their attachment to their feelings so that they can experience how existence or how the universe actually sees their existence or how the universe actually perceives their being, your being. So, if this sounds interesting to you, I want to share with you this secret, the biggest secret to letting go how to control your mind, how you can do that, what are the problems that occur, and then a five-step framework which you can always use when you feel any negative emotion to transmute it and transform it, allow yourself to let it go and receive the insight that it has to give you. So, I'm sure that this topic is going to be of huge benefit and value to you and if you are having the same opinion as me, stay until the end of the video because by understanding this whole framework, you look at your emotions in a whole other way. This really has the potential of changing your life. And now let us begin, let us already begin because I am so excited about this topic. First of all, you gotta understand what the problem is. Why people actually have resistance to experiencing some negative emotions. Well, basically this is a huge problem because this is the one thing that is stopping you from allowing yourself, your being, your self-image to even consider the possibility of experiencing any negative, so-called negative emotion fully. And the problem is exactly this. Because so many people have perceived and have neglected their emotions, their negative emotions precisely, they have a negative attitude to negative emotions. And what happens in this case? Well, think of your ego, of your self, of the way you perceive yourself as a process, as a process that helps you live the better life and the better life is anything that makes you feel good and is trying to protect you from feeling bad this is what the ego does it has this purpose to help you live the best life possible based on all the principles and systems that you give it and so many people has given their ego their mind their subconscious mind the process or the belief system that negative emotions or something bad, something intrinsically bad. And then what happens? Your ego, your mind will try to do anything to stop you from feeling those negative emotions. There are so many different processes that the ego will use, such as escapism, expression, repression, suppression, and even reaction to negative emotions, but not anything similar to letting go. And that's why I will share with you the five-step formula, the secret that has allowed me to experience any negative emotion when I feel that I'm controlled by it and to, to be able to let it go in the matter of minutes. But first you gotta understand what the problem is. You can't have a negative attitude to, towards negative emotions. Remember that everything in the universe is allowed to exist by existence itself, by God itself, by your higher self. And you are nobody to even judge if a negative emotion is actually negative or if a positive emotion is a better experience to prefer. Because existence or your ability to exist has already decided that for you. You don't really need, it, it doesn't really need your opinion in this case. So you can just align your perspective with existence, which is quite a harder thing to do, but this is also a topic for another video and a different idea that you can use to get the same result. But for now, I just want you to follow me through this system because once you understand it fully, you can then easily allow yourself to feel any emotion and receive the insight that it has to give you. So, what is the first step? Well, of course, every single change begins with awareness. Awareness of your emotional state. How do you feel? How do you feel right now? Is it good? Is it bad? How do you perceive it? How do you label it? Do you find it as a positive or negative experience? How do you feel? Just awareness. That's the first step. You don't have to identify your feeling in your mind by labeling it, but you must be able to feel how it feels in your nervous system. And you can easily do that if you just relax for a couple of seconds, take a deep breath, and allow yourself to feel. So this is the first step. Then 
You should have this attitude about your emotion. You should care about the emotion, care about its existence and really see it as real and valid. Because once you see something or your negative emotions as real and valid, then you have, then you can allow yourself to give them the space so that they can do their own thing and give you their insight. You're just like a curious child watching over your emotions or like a careful and loving parent looking at your child, which is your emotion. This is a metaphor that you can use. And the third step then is to listen empathically and understand the value of the emotion. What is its message for you? Because every single emotion is there for a purpose. It is here to show you something about yourself, about your perception of the world and to make you an even more aware version of, version of yourself so that you can make better decisions in the future and use your mind body spirit complex or the way you perceive yourself you express yourself in this life more efficiently to be of higher service and of better service to your real self to the one infinite creator which is also a, a whole different topic and if i get down this way this video we will totally lose the track so we will definitely leave this for another topic. But how do, you, uh, how do you listen empathically? How do you understand the real value of your emotion? How do you tap into its message, the, the message that it has for you? Well, you should feel safe with the emotion. You should feel vulnerable because when you're feeling safe, like you're in the presence of God or of your parents or of somebody who is loving and caring about you, then you can actually allow yourself to have this emotion. You wouldn't judge it as something that might actually destroy your being. You should feel safe with it. And then you should also feel vulnerable. You should allow the negative emotion to influence you, not to react to it. This is a totally different story and you really don't want to go this way, but just to feel vulnerable, just accepting it fully so that it can give you its message. And don't have any fear of judgment. Like the problem that the problem that you have with negative emotions, again, is that you, you've whole, your whole life, or at least most people's perspective, is such that they've had a negative attitude to their negative feelings and emotions. So, this part of yourself that feels these negative emotions constantly, for example, this part of yourself that feels fear, judgment, worry, anxiety, shame, guilt, for example, it is afraid of judgment. It is afraid to be judged. So it's like a, a little child which is hidden somewhere in your unconscious psyche which is afraid of yourself because you haven't given it any, any love and care before and now it's afraid of your opinion, of your um, ability to look at itself. So that's why you should feel compassion. You should allow the space for them to actually unfold you should be vulnerable, you should accept them as real and valid because that's how you can make yourself vulnerable to these emotions. That's how you can make this little part of yourself that you have been neglecting your whole life, the child inside yourself, feel accepted for having some negative emotion. You diffuse or just ignore the fear of judgment. You feel totally safe with yourself. This is what empathically means, to be able that's actually the fourth step. <laughs> the fourth step is compassion. Make yourself right for ha having these feelings. How do you do that? Well, by encouraging the feeling. The moment you take a look at the feeling and do this process from, from the first to the third and the fourth step, you start to feel vulnerable. You start to feel like this emotion might overpower you. It might be uh, dangerous. It might do something bad or something that is not okay with your being because you have been neglecting your emotions for your whole life, maybe. Not everybody, but that happens with a lot of people. And that's why you should make yourself right for feeling it. What means right? Well, you should encourage this feeling. Basically, once you identify the emotion, once you are able to care about the emotion, see it as real and valid, once you are in a safe environment, you allow yourself to be vulnerable and you don't have any fear of judgment, then what happens is that you can talk to this child inside of you. Talk to it like you're a caring parent, a caring and loving parent, which allows it to do anything. Anything that might be dangerous, that might be negative in, in nature, that, that might be intrinsically not good or even evil. Anything that you have been resisting and neglecting. You should accept completely 
your right to feel the emotion because imagine it that way if you have been running from something like countless of years then if you come back to this fear of yours and you just try to face it try to look at it but I mean you've been running from it for 10 years or something how would you allow yourself to do this well it won't be easy you have to encourage yourself you have to talk to yourself and like use some affirmations here that can help you do this process something like this well I know that I have been resisting my emotions for such a long time but it's my fault it really is my fault I haven't been doing it correctly and I understand that I accept that I'm not perfect in any way but now I'm trying to see the value in them so I'm, I'm looking at this I'm looking at your emotions and the emotions that you're feeling and I'm really trying to accept them completely I know I might not do it perfectly at first but at least I'm trying so can you work with me and you talk to your psyche you talk to the child inside of you to help it accept this emotion for you to give it the space in which your child your inner child feels safe to accept this emotion this is totally connected to shallow work and if you haven't watched my videos on shallow work this is the perfect time to do so because you understand the process in completion and you'll be able to become the best version of yourself so you can check it out here but for now just stay with me until this until the end of this video so just try to make yourself right for feeling this emotion try to make it a good experience a positive experience it might not feel as such because it's a negative emotion first of all but why don't you at least try to make it as best as you could for your inner child to feel safe to feel understood and to feel vulnerable you feel vulnerable with it so that it can actually influence you and allow you to experience this emotion which gets me exactly to the last and final step which is the most important part and in which you should allow yourself to feel the emotion fully what does this mean well basically what happens sometimes is that when people allow themselves to experience just a little bit of the emotion since they have been repressing it for like so many years it's almost obvious that this emotion has stored so much negative charge in it and it might feel really overwhelming which is totally normal for example if you're allowing yourself to feel uh, shame or guilt which is really a negative emotion not that it's bad but it's something that a lot of people have been running away from you might feel like your whole world might fall in front of your eyes it might get destroyed your whole perception of the world might get totally out of control and this is also a fearful feeling so you should encounter some resistance to really feeling the negative emotion and then you should accept this resistance also then if you accept the resistance and a little more resistance comes up before you can feel the completion of the negative feeling that you're trying to integrate that you identified at first you should accept this resistance also so basically this is a process in which you go through the vibrational scale there is this vibrational scale of Dr. Hawkins if you haven't heard of him and if you don't know why this you should see a diagram right here and this is basically an emotional scale of all the emotions or at least most of them in the way in which Dr. Hawkins has explained it and these are the emotions that you can allow yourself to feel so here's how it goes if you're trying to integrate guilt for example then when you allow yourself to feel this guilt you might instantly understand that you have resistance to this guilt by feeling afraid of it you're afraid of feeling the guilt which is totally okay you allow this resistance to come up and then let it go integrate it into your being but then by doing so you might also understand that there is anger the anger comes from the way you have perceived the emotion in the past so at first you feel guilty when you try to accept that using this process then you might encounter some fear then when you do that you accept the fear also you're empathically looking at the fear caring about it loving it compassionately and then you might see that this fear transforms itself into anger now anger has a lot more energy than fear but it's actually even more overwhelming so this emotion might try to overpower you and now you might become afraid of the anger which is another layer of resistance basically which you also accept and 
If you do this process correctly, you should go to a whole spectrum of emotion, not just one. All these emotions are interconnected. All negative emotions are actually interconnected. And once you allow yourself to let go of one, you're allowing yourself to let go of the whole spectrum of all the negative emotions that are like on top of each other and supporting each other. So you should allow yourself to go through the full process, through the whole vibration of scale and I gave you an example already of how this might feel. From now I just want to tell you that this process is totally safe, you will be completely thankful once you do this correctly and you can try it right after this video. If you have been feeling negative, just go through these five steps, go through them the way I explained it, talk to yourself, talk to your child inside of yourself, don't make them feel like they're judged or like they're uh, neglected somehow allow them to feel love and you should be able to transmute any negative feeling in the matter of minutes sometimes it takes five minutes sometimes it takes half an hour sometimes it may take like a couple of consequent days to let go of one specific feeling it will come in uh, in periods you won't be able to allow yourself to ex experience it fully instantly and like never look at this emotion ever again but it might come in periods and then if you let go of it, let go of it a little bit more and even more, then you find out that a couple of days later or even weeks, it might be even months for some emotions that you have repressed for like so many years, you start to feel whiter and by feeling this feeling continuously and by feeling it how it expands and expands, the process is totally working because the consequences, if you don't face your feelings, are even worse because they will then sabotage you, self-sabotage you in your life and then you won't even know what caused the self-sabotaging attitude that you have towards yourself. So this is really important. Understand this process, try it for yourself, see the implications of it and then come back to this video and comment down below, below what your experience is so that you can encourage some other people who might watch in the future to also go through this process. And actually there was just one more thing I wanted to talk about that existence perspective, the, your real self perspective, your higher self's perspective does this process automatically. So there is so many different ways to, to do this emotional transmutation or letting go process. This is just one of the ways, one of the frameworks that I, I've been using for a long time, but there are much more optimized ways. So if you want to do this automatically, whenever you feel negative in, an, in the instant, you actually start feeling a negative emotion. Stay tuned for the next video that I will make because it will be precisely on this topic. How you can recognize your existence perspective, your real self's perspective of everything that exists, every emotion, thought, feeling you have, sensations in your body, everything that is allowed to exist so that you can go through this process and just integrate emotions automatically by just being present to them, by just recognizing the qualities of your existence. And this is for another video because if I say it right now, this will get too long, but I, and I think it's just enough for, for right now. So by saying this, I want to thank you right now for going through this video. It means that you really care about your life. You're not some random person who just goes through life randomly, you're somebody who cares about your existence and I want to con congratulate you for that. So thank you so much for watching, like this video, hit the subscribe button if you still haven't done because this channel is only focused towards your greater awakening and this is my purpose for yourself. And I just want you to remember one last thing before I leave off. You are just one epiphany, one insight away from your greater awakening. Because just imagine it, if just one of these processes works for you and then you start repeating it over and over and over again, imagine the implications of this in your life for the next six months, one year, two years ahead of now. Your life might be totally different and totally transformed by just watching this channel. So make yourself this gift, follow this channel, follow the videos and I'm sure that your life will look much better if you commit to these practices. Thank you so much once again for watching and see you the next time.